What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Straight Off The Hook. I'm Mikey Slayball and in today's video you're going to see me take a trip down to Bluffton, Indiana for the PBA Central Regional that was held down there. Another good tournament, another good performance. Came up a little bit short of the step ladder, but all in all it was a good weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, have a good one. Another weekend, here we go. It's Friday and I just got off of work and I am so happy to be done with work. And I'm on my way to the bowling alley. We're gonna get ready for Bluffton, Indiana this weekend. We got three stops left. We got Bluffton, Jackson, Michigan, and then Anderson, Indiana. And right now I'm sitting third in points and hopefully I can put together three really good tournaments and try to get myself back in the lead. Uh, JR passed me for the lead, what was it, three weeks ago, two weeks ago at Fishers. So I'd like to get that lead back and uh, yeah, try to win player of the year for the central region that'd be awesome but we need to go get some practicing first and i need to work on my spare shooting because for some reason i can't hit the bras out of a barn right now with my spare ball so we're gonna work on that and then i believe i'm going to go drill up a new pride for tomorrow so we'll see how that goes so see what time i get done practicing because i gotta drive about an hour to go drill it up we'll see see how i feel but let's go get practicing and get ready for tomorrow I guess that'll work. So that was one of my better practice sessions. It was a good one. And I picked up spares, that was even better. But now we're on our way down to Warsaw where I'm gonna drop a bowling ball, that new pride, uh, do some surface changes on urethane stuff, put some new grips on bowling balls, just get ready for tomorrow. We're on 39 foot chameleon tomorrow, so. I mean, the regional tour has either been urethane up five, six, seven, or you're hooking the entire lane. So I'm just gonna be prepared for either or and make the best out of it. So that's what I got going on. But we'll get that done, get home, get some food, and hopefully get to bed at a decent time tonight because I really like to sleep. So let's go get these bowling balls drilled. It is Saturday, uh, it is time to go bowl a tournament. I love B-Squad, I didn't have to get up early this morning. So we're on our way now to Bluffton, Indiana. I think it's about an hour and a half south, something like that. Um, this is EJ Tackett's home center. Uh, the Tackett family owns the center. I've had two really good years, the past two years I've been there, so I'm really looking forward to bowling there. Uh, we're bowling on 39 foot chameleon, which has been like a hit and miss for me. Uh, it was the worst pattern for me at the World Series of Bowling when I bowled earlier this year. Uh, but yeah, I've made two other match play appearances on this pattern through the regional season. So flip a coin, we'll see what happens. But um, I'm on my way down to go watch A Squad and see how things are going down there. I got a couple of my buddies that are bowling A Squad and check on them, see how they're doing. And I uh, kind of just get a vibe for uh, lane play and how things are going to end up being so i'm excited to bowl today it's gonna be great and even on top of that um my parents are gonna come down with their camper this weekend uh, there's a campground 10 minutes from the bowling alley and so whether i bowl good or bowl bad they're gonna come down and we're gonna camp out together tonight uh this may be the last chance we get to do that this year before uh the cold weather sets in so i'm really excited for that but it's gonna be a fun day so let's go watch some bowling <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, that was uh, interesting. The scores are extremely low. And the reason that being is because urethane is out of play. So we're on 39 foot and urethane is out of play. They said maybe a couple people threw it, but that was it. And they said that if you get it right, it would never hook, basically fall in the gutter. Um, and the middles are so flat that if you don't get the ball projected right off your hand, it'll never, it'll stand up too quick and go left. That's what I meant to say. So it looks like the best look in there right now is EJ Tackett with a pride shocker. Um, but I don't think I'll be throwing your thing today. I'm going to take it in, but I don't think I'm going to be looking to throw it first. I'm probably going to be throwing a lot of pin down stuff, really slow pin down stuff. So probably like a, a recoil, um, the pride, venom shocks, that type of thing. And um, then go from there. But scores are really low, so I don't have to do something drastic. And then just uh, make the best shots I can and enjoy the day. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So they finished A squad. Rick, how were they? Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Zach? I went. Are they hard? Plus. Yeah, they're always hard. And I suck, so you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. He does suck. I suck worse. So, they're both in soft at like 30 something over. Maybe. He was at 60 over. 50. 50 over. Don't give him credit. Don't give him credit. He's my Nationals teammate. I, mess I messengered a couple times and fours in the same hmm? game. I also want to put out, he went Brooklyn in game eight for a double. For Who did? Two. What? Oh, it's game seven. I went Brooklyn? No, no, not you. Oh, game. I was going to say. No, no, you flushed everything today. Yeah, he went Brooklyn, he smacked it out, and he went, eh. <laughs> One of those things. I'm like, oh, blows up. So, the score's going to be low. Mm-hmm. Well, good. You too. <laughs> Bonus bowling tomorrow, man. It's uh, Today was awesome. So after the eight games of qualifying, I finished ninth. Uh, they took the top 18. And I finished ninth. And it was the definition of a grind. Um, I started off going 170, 170. So I was minus 50 after two. And then uh, just I took a desperate guess. And I moved way left. And I just strapped on it. And I went 2-0, uh, 250, 220. Caught the end pair, and I bowled the best game all day, and I shot 180. That's how hard that pair was. It was impossible. Um, I go down uh, to the, what would it be, game seven, and I shoot 220, uh, so we get back up in there. In the last game, I shoot 190, uh, which it felt like I could have easily shot 119 on that pair because it was tighter than snot. But uh, we happen to make it work. But yeah, now we get to go bowl some bonus bowling tomorrow and uh, try to make something happen. So they're going to bowl eight more games and then top four to step ladder. 
So um, I'm stoked. It, it was a it was a decent day. So yeah. But now we're here at the campground. I'm about to go out and eat some food with my family and just enjoy the rest of the night and uh, try to get some sleep. Yeah, get some sleep. Yeah, that's how you wrap up a good day of bowling. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, Mom. Yeah. Thanks for letting me see your camper this weekend. You are welcome. That's what happens when we bring dad along to bowling tournaments. We start looking at race cars. Because they're better than bowling. All right, so I figure since I'm not gonna have much time at the bowling alley to give the uh, the rundown of today, I figure I'd just give you guys the game plan. So yesterday was a really slow start. I went 170, 170 out of the gate. I had no look. Uh, I tried to make two things work that just weren't there. Uh, games one and game two. So what I'm gonna do this morning is I'm just gonna go straight with your theme. You know, I said urethane didn't work for A squad yesterday, but the reason it didn't work for A squad is because, well, they were about an arrow further right than what you should have been because of just how the lane played. Uh, if you got into 12 13 and played to 7 8, you actually had a pretty decent look with urethane. Um, I didn't throw urethane game one, unfortunately. I tried to swing the whole lane and it cost me. Then I tried to go to urethane game two through the front three, but then didn't get out of it fast enough because I'm an idiot. So, um,. <laughs> Uh, today, we're gonna start with your thing, game one. We're gonna stick with the game two and just kinda see how it goes. But as soon as I see my ball hang at all or, or maybe stand up too quick, I'm immediately getting left and getting out of your thing and doing what I did games you know, three through eight uh, and just get myself as far left as I can and create as much angle and as much hold as possible. So that's the game plan today. Um, hopefully I can get off to a little bit better start and not 170, 170 uh, and give myself a chance to run down that top four. So um, I'm excited for today. Uh, another great thing about yesterday is I didn't miss a single makeable spare. That was awesome. That that makes me feel really good about yesterday. So, but yeah, I'm excited to go bowl today. I'm gonna run and grab a couple drinks and head to the bowling alley and get ready to knock down some pins. So it's gonna be a fun day. Get to bowl next to this guy all day. It's a uh, have fun. So close, so close. Ah, we finished fifth today. Finished fifth. Came up just a little bit short of that top four step ladder, uh, but that's okay. I uh, went in with a game plan today, and it worked flawlessly. I threw urethane for the first three games. Um, I think I went 214, 223, something like that, and then 20. I got then got out of urethane. I jumped way left and just strapped on it with a pride, and I think I went 240, 250. Uh, I ran down the leaders. It was in second at one point in time. But then the last three pairs I caught were just so hard. They were so tight. Um, game six, I started off the game going open, open, open. They were all splits and they were all decent off my hand. I didn't I didn't hate them. And we start off a game like that. I shoot 170, game six. Game seven, we moved to an end pair. That pair was basically impossible. I, I don't know what I could have done different. And I shoot 190s, which isn't horrible. Um, but then going in the last game, I was eight pins ahead of my buddy Patrick, Patrick Tombrowski. Words are hard. I was eight pins ahead of Pat, and I just couldn't get a 10 pin to fall over. I ended up shooting 201, um, and just couldn't. I couldn't put together strings of strikes. And Pat uh, 
put together a huge 220 game to jump me into the stepladder finals. So Pat, good bowling brother, I wish you the best. Um, but even though I didn't make match play and stuff, or uh, stepladder I mean, I'm still like extremely excited because I am now qualified for the regional player invitational. This is something I've been working for the entire year. Um, this is the, the end goal of this entire regional season was to make the RPI and I've done it now and I I literally I I couldn't be happier it's I'm I'm extremely extremely happy this is everything I've worked for this year and I cannot wait for January of 2022 so I can go bowl that tournament so I am just I'm over the moon right now um, uh, another solid performance though puts me up a little bit higher in points I didn't quite catch Patrick Dabrowski or JR because they're still leading in points but we got three stops left so maybe I can do something pretty drastic for the last three stops to try to run them down and get myself that player of the year so that'd be awesome but um yeah another great weekend and we're looking forward to jackson michigan next weekend so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and yeah keep everything straight off the hook see you the next one guys so one of the perks when my parents come with the camper get to bring one of my friends this is Gibbs he's not very bright but he's cute so that kind of makes up for it <laughs>